Hey everyone, it's Mikey Chen. In the last half billion years, life on Earth has been nearly wiped out five times. These events are called mass extinctions. And today, according to new research published in Science Advances, a sixth mass extinction could be well underway and humans are likely the culprit. Also, today's video is in partnership with Videoblocks and uh, this is something I really like because I've been using Videoblocks for over three years in all my YouTube channels because they really have an awesome library full of stock footage that you can use and uh, what's really cool is that you get unlimited downloads. They also just started a marketplace where you can actually sell your own footage directly to buyers and you get to keep all the commission, which is awesome. So if you want to try Videoblocks out, there's a link in the description box below and uh, it's an offer where you can get seven days of free downloads in their unlimited library and you get access to members only discounts in the marketplace. Like I mentioned before, there have been five mass extinctions on Earth that we know of, and they were mainly caused by global natural disasters like meteors or volcanic eruptions. When we talk about mass extinctions, the Cretaceous Tertiary or KT extinction event is the most well known because it wiped out the dinosaurs. The Ordovician Silurian mass extinction wiped out mainly sea creatures. The late Devonian mass extinction was when three quarters of all species on Earth died out. The Triassic Jurassic mass extinction saw 34% of marine creatures and at least half of the species now known to have been living on Earth at that time go extinct. And finally, the Permian mass extinction, which was also known as the Great Dying, as 96% of all species died out. But the mass extinctions that's happening around us is not caused by natural events, it's caused by, well, us and the destruction that we are causing to this planet. I mean, we brought in invasive species, we're rapidly changing the climate, we're changing the chemistry of all the oceans, we're cutting down trees everywhere, we're overfishing, overhunting, the list goes on and on. According to research conducted by Gerardo Ceballos, a senior ecological researcher at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, the average rate of vertebrate species loss over the last century is over 100 times greater than the normal rate of extinction. He said the number of species that have gone extinct in the last 100 years would have taken anywhere from 800 to 10,000 years to disappear otherwise. For example, recently species that are believed to have become extinct include the desert rat kangaroo, the Yangtze River dolphin, the skunk frog, and the Chinese paddlefish, among hundreds of others. The research also paints a grim future as it predicts that 75% of the species we know today could be lost in just two generations time. And of course, extinction is pretty normal, it is all part of life, and they open up the planet for new life forms to emerge, but this is the first time humans are being confronted with species loss at rates that are 1,000 to 10,000 times faster than what is considered the natural rate. What's more scary is that the new study is intentionally conservative, so the actual rate of extinction is almost certainly more extreme than what the report says. The study also focuses on vertebrates, which are easier to count than smaller wildlife like insects and plants. Now, the problem is scientists can't predict exactly how many species uh, need to go extinct before the entire world collapses. So it's kind of like playing a giant game of Jenga. You don't know when the whole thing's going to come crashing down. And there's of course talks of cloning extinct creatures, but that's always a dangerous road to go down. I mean, what if we're not satisfied with say just bringing back a woolly mammoth? What if we decide to bring back other creatures that may not be suitable for this world where we get bored and start creating new creatures and basically just messing with nature more than we already have. Also, if you think about it, all those alien invasion films like Independence Day, War of the Worlds, and how those aliens used up their own resources and then came and tried to take ours. I think we're kind of like those aliens, only difference is we're kind of stuck here because our technology is not advanced enough. I mean, we're already thinking of settling on other planets because we know eventually we're going to use up all the resources on this one. And let's say down the road, if our technology does advance enough and uh, we encounter maybe a planet with actual alien civilization, you know, we would probably invade those planets. I mean, wouldn't that be crazy? We become the hostile aliens like we see in the movies today, and we just move from world to world using up one resource after another, and all the aliens would band together on their Independence Day and have a super moving, tear-jerking speech about not going quietly into the night, not giving up without a fight. They would have like an Area 52 and observe all our behaviors and figure out that our biggest weaknesses are chocolate and uh, cat videos. But guys, let me 
me know your thoughts. Do you believe that we are currently in a mass extinction? And let me know if you would participate in conquering other alien worlds. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you later.